Rightio, another driving video. We are driving along Zaytun. Uh, beautiful day, again. We've got buildings on the right, farmland on the left, and a crane dead ahead. Uh, I don't know what they're doing here. It's the only crane in the vicinity of the area. There's a red light, Brenda's waving her hands at me. Very low levels of traffic at the moment. I, I went to Zabara this morning, not far from our place, and it was very, very empty, the roads. I don't know why. Maybe everyone's on an extended holiday. Uh, if you're coming to Malta today, tomorrow, this week, the 10 day forecast says 31, 32, 30 every day. And then late next week, there's a couple of days of 29. Uh, not late next week, it's like the Sunday, I think, in the, well, the 9th and 10th day of the forecast. So, certainly going to be a beautiful time. It's really hot, eh? I'm feeling the heat at the moment more than I was when it was 35 degrees. I don't know whether I'm just. Um, getting older or getting fatter or uh, maybe it's the humidity I don't know but um, maybe it's all the beer Last time we had chickens out running wild. yeah this spot here uh, just Marissa Schlock is on the left they've normally got chickens running around here just just amongst the uh, amongst the traffic amongst the cars gotta be a bit careful they're not here today <clears throat> maybe they've all been turned into chicken wings Up ahead, I can see in the very, very far distance the freeport of Berzabuja, which is where we're heading. We're heading to Pretty Bay. So we actually are in Berzabuja now, Marpa, Berzabuja. These stone walls, a lot of work's been done. I think I mentioned in another video, the government, I heard they were subsidising a lot of the landowners to tidy up their uh, walls to make them all visually pleasing and the walls here also serve as a habitat for a lot of wildlife, lizards and stuff. You actually see signs here and there. See plenty of trees around. It's another little myth about Malta that uh, you can't see a tree anywhere. There are plenty of trees. There are areas that are very heavily wooded. Um, some that are not so many. Certainly around here, around the south, there's plenty of trees. This is Birza Bulja Dalam bus stop. I'm sure many of our followers are going to be riding and telling me that they come from this area. The website that talks about the beaches, all the most of the beaches today are really good for swimming. There's hardly anything in the red zone, but again, they're slowly cleaning up after the storm. I've noticed, like down St. Thomas Bay, uh, all the seaweed has been lumped. It's obviously been bulldozed into big, big piles. Um, it's okay, but uh, it smells. Yeah, like in the heat, it smells. It's not for us. We. We don't like the smell, the smell of drying seaweed. So just go to another beach if you don't like that. If you go to a beach and find that, that's uh, that's around. The boats are all jam-packed into this beautiful harbour. Have a look at it. Oh, that's obviously as a result of the storm. They've really brought them in nice and close. The storm is well and truly past us. It is heavenly here. Some are telling me, telling me this is the best stint of summer. Lucky for us, we're here now enjoying this. Here's a Bulja, I love it here. We could have very easily, um, in fact, when we when we penciled in three or four villages when we wanted to get something here, this was one of them. It is, um, it's just beautiful. You do have the freeport on one side, that doesn't bother me at all. It's nice to be able to see, for me, what's, you know, what's going on with the unloading and this and that. But then you've got this beautiful boat marina here. Colourful, it's not most a schlock, but it's a Bulja, it's 
so nice boats of all shapes and sizes lovely locals here you walk in front of the um what's it called that a water view uh, uh, restaurant whatever it is there's always someone that starts talking to you or you run into a familiar face or or someone hears you talk and stops and says oh are you an australian or an english or where do you come from and anyway everyone knows somebody in australia either in melbourne or sydney they're very talkative i love it i love these little villages even if you're on your own you can go there and have a cuppa or a beer and end up talking to people for hours you know um yeah, freeport's up there so you've got the, the, the boat marina on, on one side you've got the freeport down the end and in the middle the beautiful sandy beach which i've shown you many many times and then there's these various little viewing areas and um, old fortif fortifications still here what's this one redoubt bar shortley's bar up here i don't know what they are never been there and here we are sort of going to enter the swimming area proper just keep an eye on that time counter booth 16. what is it six yep okay just pause it for a minute and then here we've entered the beach proper yeah get a park wherever you can beach on the left plenty of parking if you don't find here just go along the street just past the main beach we always find a car park it doesn't seem overly busy with people but it seems very busy with cars but obviously it's a working day today what a beautiful little village you've got every cafe bar takeaway shop you can think of of course you've got a mcsims or a maxims or one of those everywhere you go they just pass one starbucks and so on and so forth so just uh there's a time on the no problem okay, yeah, yeah. all right well we're going to wind it up guys here yeah? features on the left i hope you've enjoyed this drive through and we're at bruce at talk to you later